Okay, so we've got a new machine. We're going to go install Oracle on this machine. There's some things that we need to take care of first. But first, let's go ahead and log in. And then I'm going to sudo to root. And type in my password. And I'm going to do an fdisk. And see which ones we've got. So we can see that we've got several uh, 100 gig partitions on here. And so the first one I'm going to do is we need to make a file system where we are going to put our file system for uh, installing Oracle and where we're going to use the uh, data pump import and export and things like that. So we're going to use this one right here to create for slash 01. So I'm going to um, create the file system by typing in this command right here and we're making an ext3 file system. So right now it's off making file system creating the super blocks and should be momentarily done here. There we go. So now I can uh, change the fs tab system. So we're going to do mount slash 01. And now we have basically a 100 gig file system for us to uh, uh, create Oracle or install Oracle on. So I'm going to change the owner. There we go. Okay, now the rest of them the rest of these partitions we are going to create as the uh, ASM disk. Okay, so let me slide this in front here. We've got um, SDC, SDD, and SDE are all RAID 10. We're going to use those for production. And we have SDFG and H should all be Okay, and so to mark these as ASM disks, we're going to cd to slash Etsy slash init.d. And in here, you're going to see the Oracle ASM. We're going to run that. The first thing we need to do here, however, is run it with the configure option. And we're going to give it the default user to start it for Oracle. The group is going to be DBA. And yes, we want to start it on boot. And scan for disks on boot. Okay, now we're going to do a status. If you just give Oracle ASM by itself, it will give you all of the options available. So we're going to do an Oracle ASM start, but it failed. Why it failed, I don't know, which means I'm going to kill this thing. Okay, so I fixed that by actually running the um, up-to-date dash u, Oracle ASM dash, and then uh, back quotes u name dash r back quote. And so it went out and updated the uh, latest Oracle ASM driver and it allowed me to start up the ASM. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start tagging disks here. So the Oracle ASM create disk. We're going to give this one the name of vol1 and slash dev slash sdc1 And then we're going to do the same for D. Oh, sorry, I already have ball one. Let's try ball two. And S B D. Ball three.
show me all of the disks that we have created. And that wraps up this part of it.